Hello, everyone. My name is Dominique Bethel, and I am the Vice President of African American Awareness Club. So people of color experience microaggressions every day, and it can be as small as a simple statement or interaction with a peer. But implicit bias is not that much different. Implicit bias refers to the attitudes or stereotypes that affect our understanding, actions, and decisions in an unconscious manner. The next skit, we will implore you to reflect on your past actions or certain comments that you have said. So without further ado, I present to you classroom discussion. Good morning, class. Please sit down so I can take attendance. Jaquavia? It's pronounced Jaquavia. I'm sorry, it's a very unique and interesting name. Were you late because you were roaming the halls with your homies? Actually, I was finishing my AP exam. We'll make you soon then. No reason, I was just asking. All right, let's continue with attendance. Jamal? Here. Sophie? Here. Nikki? Here. Trey? Yo. Maya? Here. Erica? Here. And Christopher? Present. All right, today we're going to continue our discussion about the 12 angry men and about implicit bias. Can anybody explain to me about what implicit bias is? Jamal? Yes, implicit bias is a term to describe when a person has an attitude towards people's stereotypes of them, rather than personality. Ugh, why do we even have to learn the term? It's not like it applies to real world scenarios. I agree, well, Sophie. This happened so long ago, why are we still learning about it? Well, what does the majority think? Somebody raise their hand for me. Nikki. Well, I disagree because I was racially profiled at my own job, and the manager had to convince the customers not to call 911 on me. Yo, I got a similar story. See, I was driving my car, I was minding my business, and a police officer came up to me and grabbed me out of my car saying I looked like somebody, and I didn't. He put a gun to my head. Luckily, on the police officer, the walkie-talkie went off and said he got the wrong guy. I'm sorry you had that happen to you. Yeah. Really? I was only 16 and 25, and all the cop did was let me go with the warning. Somebody who looks like me can never, never get away with that. Oh, I understand now. I'll try to educate myself in the future and be more sensitive to this topic. I agree. This topic is still relevant today and should be discussed more. Well, I'm glad everybody learned something here today. Uh, we're going to talk about another discussion tomorrow. For right now, class is dismissed. <laughs>